This video is for Nest.js developers who want to build uh, microservices in Nest.js. I mean, I already have lots of content on Nest.js microservices. So this video is just uh, maybe a helper guide, like how to approach to all the content which I have published on Nest.js microservices. So this video is divided into two different parts. First, let's say you are building a microservices without Nest.js way of building microservices. So what are the common challenges? you face while building it and how Nest.js is solving all those challenges and all those problems uh, to build any kind of a microservice architecture using different transport modes. I mean, Nest.js microservices support TCP, AMQP, GRPC, um, RabbitMQ, Kafka, all these transport modes using which you can build really nice and clean microservices which you cannot just build using Express and TypeScript. Let's say tomorrow you want to build a microservice architecture or a simple microservices in the Nest.js or Node.js. Then you will have a question like, okay, from where should I start? How should I, micro, how should I build it? How these microservices are going to communicate? How I'm going to persist the data across microservices? How they are going to talk to each other? What are the proper framework which I can follow to write code? And what kind of architecture pattern I can follow? So all these questions are obvious because when you go to the microservice world and you start designing a particular architecture, either a serverless architecture or a gateway pattern or a service discovery pattern, you always face a challenge, right? How the microservice will communicate, how I deploy, right? All those things, how I even write the code if I want to do just in simple express. So Nest.js is trying to solve all those uh, different aspects in consistent way because before that I also ha always have a challenge in building a microservice. Building a single microservice is fine but all the microservices following the same pattern where you can create a, a Nest.js uh, proxy server and proxy client right and they can communicate either by TCP, AMQP, gRPC or through RabbitMQ. I mean the communication can be just a simple request and reply or fire and forget. So Nest.js is really doing a very nice job. I mean at the end this is a framework and there are lots of other framework using which you can build a REST API or GraphQL APIs. But when you really want to build a microservices supporting all these transport modes then yes Nest.js has done a really nice job. If you really simple want to build a Kafka producer and consumer right then you have to create a kafka producer kafka consumer uh, one producer is sending message to the rabbit mq another subscriber is reading a message from a rabbit mq similarly for the redis and all and some microservices which wants to communicate synchronously like request and reply like tcp based and grpc based there also you need to write a lots of code at the server who is producing the request and the, the client who is consuming the request and sending the response right away because it's a request and reply. But when you are using Nest.js microservice, these things are simplified. That's why I, I always focus that Nest.js microservices are something different and they are solving lots of challenges which uh, backend developers like us we face when we want to design these kind of asynchronous uh, data driven communication, event driven design pattern, all these communication strategies. So we can build these kind of a simple to very complex architecture. Here we have API gateway. I have authentication service and you can see everything is designed using Nest.js. This diagram, I will add a reference. This is not designed by me. I get, got it from the blog. This is simple API gateway and API gateway is communicating to the external services, order service, product service, authentication service through gRPC. Now let's see, if you want to just use a gRPC using simple Node Express or any other framework, you have to learn a lot of things and a lot of building blocks you need to put together. But when you want to just use a Nest.js microservices, things are way more simplified. This is a simple architecture pattern which I have implemented in my demos here. What we are doing, I have created API gateway. Let's say you created a simple microservice and there are consumer services. Uh, it's not a producer consumer here. We are just creating a synchronous uh, communication pattern through the TCP pattern, TCP uh, protocol. So what are we doing? Uh, we just created a simple API gateway. This is nothing but a simple no, uh, Nest.js service. 
Nestia service providing these different clients. So one client is for auth service, one client for task service, one client for permission service. So how they communicate? We create a proxy client at the service. So in the API gateway service, I will create a proxy client. And that proxy client will provide me the interface to talk to auth service, task service and permission service synchronously because here the transport mode we choose is TCP. So sometimes you wanted to segregate the services and you don't want to use just a, a HTTP REST API based communication, then you can just use a TCP transport mode. It works kind of a similar way because it is also using the same HTTP protocol. Then I also provided a demo in my examples, which is talking about API gateway communicating to these services using gRPC. So we changed the transport mode to gRPC and we created a gRPC client at API gateway service. Similarly, we can also do the asynchronous communication where API gateway can send events with the help of RabbitMQ Kafka. So API gateway will send an event. There will be a listener of those events like mail service or task service because mail service can be asynchronous. Based on that event, I will be sending email to third party over the time because it's not a synchronous action. We just publish a command to the Kafka or RabbitMQ and there is a listener service, mail service. So all these things we are designing on the Nest.js. So this is the beauty of the Nest.js microservices. Here this is pure asynchronous communication happening and we can use Kafka, RabbitMQ and Redis. These are simple code base and code examples which I put. These are designed by me and I put lots of effort in putting all those things. Like this is a gRPC service, right? So if you look into this, this is using the proto buffers and all, right? If you look into gRPC, how it works, we just define the protos because gRPC is same as uh, uh, what do you call a remote processor call with the proto buffers, right? This is a HTTP protocol. Here we have main.ts and here we have a Redis controller. If I talk about app module, here we are communicating to all these services, RMQ service, user service, and transport modes also defined for all these services. So this is like a gateway service, right? The gateway service will create these proxy client. Okay, this is proxy client for some Redis consumer. This is for RabbitMQ. This is for user service, which is being communicated through uh, TCP. This is gRPC, okay? So I have covered all these things in depth. I will attach uh, the link of this GitHub link and also the videos, which I have covered a separate dedicated playlist for learning Nest.js microservice, different architecture with all these different transport modes, uh, which have been covered in depth. I have also written so many blogs. This is the PNPM workspace uh, with NX Monorepo. And these are the different applications you can find. You can run these individual applications but you need to follow some videos uh, how to run all these things but all the different concepts of the Nest.js microservices end to end covered here so this is just a path forward and a guidance which I'm which I'm providing here okay if you want to learn this is the path forward and these are the examples which you can just forward I cannot teach you all these things in just 20 minutes 10 minutes that's really false assumptions I will give you if I'm talking about that okay Thanks everyone. Uh, stay tuned. If you have any questions, please post on my channel. I'm very happy to reply on any of the questions.